Hi, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow books and the Artist Tablet books. In this video, Toolbox Review, Beyond the Brush, we will discuss the tools. As I go over each tool, please notice the settings for each tool in the property bar as the property bar will change as I go over the tools. The toolbox is here on the left of my screen. Up here we have the brush selector and on the top we have the property bar. When the brush tool is chosen, you can paint with a brush that you have selected in the brush selector here. Right now the pens and pencils is chosen and the real 2B pencil is chosen. The next tool is the dropper tool. If I click in my image, I'm going to click on this gold color, you'll see that the color updates in the color panel and becomes the current color. The next tool is the paint bucket tool and with the paint bucket tool you can fill an area of your image, the complete image, a selection, or an area on a layer. The next tool is the interactive gradient tool and with the interactive Active gradient tool, you can apply a gradient to an area of your image. The next tool we have is the eraser, and the eraser allows us to remove an area of our image. The layer adjuster is used to select, move, and manipulate layers. See the little arrow down here in the corner of the layer adjuster icon. If I click here, I can open the pop-out and display the tool that's hidden underneath the layer adjuster, and that is the transform tool. The transform tool allows us to modify selected area of our image using various transform modes. The rectangular selection tool lets us create rectangular selections. Nested under the rectangular selection tool you'll find the oval selection tool with which you can create oval selections. The lasso tool lets us create freehand selections and if we click here we can display the polygonal selection tool with which we can click to create straight line segments to build a selection. The magic wand tool allows us to select similar colors by clicking on the image. With the selection adjuster, we can select, move, and modify a selection border. The crop tool allows us to remove unwanted edges of an image. The quick curve tool allows us to draw freehand paths on the image to create shapes. And underneath the quick curve tool, we have the pen tool. The pen tool allows us to create bezier curves and straight line segments. The rectangular shape tool lets us create rectangular shapes and nested underneath it we have the oval shape tool with which we can create oval shapes. The text tool lets us create text shapes. The shape selection tool allows us to select a shape and nested underneath it we have the scissors with which we can cut a path the add point tool, delete point tool, and the convert point tool, all for working with Bezier curves. The cloner brush gives you quick access to the last cloner brush that you've used. And nested underneath it, we have the rubber stamp tool that gives us quick access to the straight cloner brush variant and lets us sample areas within an image. The Dodge tool lets us lighten the highlights, midtones, and shadows in an image, and underneath it is nested the Burn tool, which allows us to darken highlights, midtones, and shadows in an image. The Mirror Painting tool lets us create a perfectly symmetrical painting and various modes are available in the property bar as are with the other tools. Nested underneath it you'll find the kaleidoscope tool with which we can transform basic brush strokes into colorful and symmetrical kaleidoscope images. Perspective guides tool lets us display guides using one, two, or three point perspective and nested underneath it we have the divine proportion 
which allows us to plan compositions by using guides based on a classical composition method. And then the layout grid, which allows us to divide up our canvas so that we can plan our composition. Directly below, the grabber hand allows us to pan around our image. The magnifier tool lets us magnify areas of our image when we want to perform more detailed work or reduce areas to get an overall view. The rotate page tool lets us rotate the image window to accommodate the way that we naturally draw. Directly below, the color selector lets us choose the main and additional colors. The front swatch displays the main color and the back swatch displays the additional color. The paper selector opens the paper panel and allows us to choose a different paper. The view selector allows us to switch between document views and viewing modes presentation mode, and single document view. We'll be going over the tools and the property bar in more detail in future videos. And by the way, I just wanted to mention that the painting I have displayed was painted with the acrylics and oils and glazing brushes, and it's titled West Side Afternoon. Enjoy painter and happy painting. Mm -hmm.